inherited by the earth. A St. Mary's spiritual church. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Right there on Martin Street in Brooklyn, New York. She has a whole big band with her. She is not a now come or a just come. She's a big here, done that, and going to get the t-shirt. I want you to stand and welcome the woman of the hour. She's bilingual, so we might get this thing part in Spanish and part in English. The But right now I have the mic. Which means that obedience is important. Perhaps she has gotten tired along the way as she passed the baton to me by giving me the mic. Hallelujah. Which now brings me right before her with the mic. Amen. Who holds the mic is in control. Hallelujah. So I'm going to try this again. Can you turn to the person next to you? Now, if you have a problem with the person next to you, you are welcome to step out of your place and find somebody that you are welcome with. Hallelujah. I bought the person, meaning look them in the eye, get to know them, because by the time you are done, you should be able to say how many moles I have in my face if I have a cross 
line somewhere along my cheek because we are in the same house but we don't know one another. Yes. I says, look them in the eye. Yes. yes. Grab them by the hand now. Yes. It's an exercise. It's still an exercise. Grab them by the hand now. Uh -huh. And say, neighbor. Neighbor. I love you. I love you. Come on, say that thing like you mean it. Don't be angry.
and then I migrated to the U.S. So, most of you don't know me, but uh, I love the Baptist business because it so happened that in my house of prayer, I have a mixture. I have Bajan, I have Trinidadian, I have Panamanian, I have Jamaicans, mighty God. And so I have a mixture. And what happens is that the youth now that's coming, hallelujah, they're clinging to the Baptist thing. So when I heard a district, I said I have to go because there's no way to leave them. Don't know how to carry them to under the Baptist dogma. Yeah? So I came to learn from them. Because I must learn since that's where they want to go. I cannot force them away from that. is because I'm watching. I want to learn. You know, people like to study people, praise God. So believers, since I'm a, because they turn it out and be done in my church, they sing Spanish too. So then we will sing a little Spanish thing for you before I bring the word. Glory to God. Where my pastor Jen? Oh Lord, I don't blame you. The right hand and the Come on, what is that again that you want in <laughs> Levante la mano to those. That means lift your hands, everyone. And praise the Lord. We gotta, we gotta start it off. And it says that in heaven they hear us when we sing. Right? Amen. So when we worship here on earth, they hear us in heaven. Amen. And then it says that uh, what's the next part of it about? In heaven they hear us and hear and heard we are singing, right? Let us all come together come to worship him with flowers. Hallelujah and timbrels. Amen. Right? So we're gonna sing it in Spanish so you can hear all the melody going. You put goodbye to the tongue. But we're gonna sing for you a Spanish song. Praise God. Yes. People have been in the message. I have been changing and 
crossing over and doing all kind of something because every night I went, somebody was in a message today again, somebody was in a message, but we are coming through. I chose to read the first verse that will be coming out from First Peter, the second chapter and verse 9, which says, But ye are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You are a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into the marvelous land. We praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Turn to somebody and say you are selected. Hallelujah, you would not be here if you were not selected. Whether by invitation of the queen or whether the Lord just said, get up, get dressed and show your face, you are selected. We praise God. And so my actual lesson, Exodus 19, because this is where we find where Moses, was called by God for a purpose. And that was to get the people of God in order for them to come to the mount to meet him. We praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm a person of meanings. So I went looking about Mount Utah. And I found that in the Bible, mountains can have a multitude meaning. It could include a sacred place, a place where you get revelation and a place of experience. We praise the Lord. So when we are talking about the sacred places, in the Old Testament, the Lord used mountain tops, not halfway, but mountain tops as a sanctuary and a place to reveal his truth. We praise God. And so most prophets, when they receive the message from God, most of them in the Old Testament were given at a mount. It's because sometimes God needs to remove us from the lower edge of the mount, hallelujah, to bring us into a higher place that the noise down below will not disturb. We praise God. And so when we started out this journey, hallelujah, we understood that it was not going to be an easy one. And so what happened excuse me, is that we find ourselves going and fasting in preparation for the mountain top. Yes. Why? Because many a times as we would look at a mountain climber or a rock climber, when they know that they have a job to climb a particular mount or uh, going to climb a particular rock, uh -huh. they have to prepare their body. Every mountain climber, believers, has to prepare their body. And it is a biblical thing because in the very chapter that I'm talking about, which is Exodus 19, when the people of God were put, brought together to go onto the mount before God to worship, God said, sanctify yourselves. Yes. And so those of us who came on this journey and did not set our sets aside, we find that we encounter a lot of problems that weaken our body. Because our body was not prepared. Teacher got many hits, glory to God, but she was able to stand firm because of fasting and praying. Oh, yeah. 
work to do. So I will lay you to rest. But I am still at fasting. Because I have to climb a mountain. And it ain't easy to climb a mountain. Sometimes we go to and go down, you know. Sometimes we go to bed weak. But we still have to climb. Hallelujah. Even if we are weak, we still have to push. So when the mountain climber, I began to look about his garments. And his garments remind me of the very garments that we have to dress ourselves when God select us to be a part of his kingdom. They need shoes that have spikes. Because as they climb, they have to have a grip and something. We, as we put on the gospel shoe, it has spikes. Because the word of God has spikes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we find that when the people was brought together to the mount, God said there is a parameter that the people of God should not come to yet. They should be at the, the bottom of the mount. But I'm going to call you, Moses, to come. But you leave them here and make sure to warn them not to come too close to the perimeter that I gave. But some of us are so pushing. We want to go before the leader. Nothing. You did it yourself. There was a warning. Don't cross. But then, as I keep going, I realize that even though the first time Moses went into the mount, uh -huh. there was another time in Scripture where the elder was invited. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Glory to God. There was a time when the seventy that was chosen. Aaron, uh, Miriam, and all the crew came in to sup with God. Sometimes if we are just patient, patient. We are able to sup with God. Yes. We cannot rush leaders, believers. You have to be obedient to what the leaders say. And we cannot be murmuring about the leaders. Because the leaders are hearing from God and they have to move when God says to move. Not when the membership tells us to move. Oh my God. I try not to go in the perimeter. And so what happens is that the people of God sometimes wants to rush a message that has been given from God. And the leader is still waiting for the confirmation from God. the pyramid. My God. And so what happens is that when we rush God's program, we mess up the whole thing. So if God is bringing us to the mount to hear revelation of our naughtiness, you know, or move fast, hurry up. Today they call elders to come, hallelujah. And some of the me uh, members of Queen Esther to come. Some of the elders end up out of the... I don't want to cross the pyramid. Come on now. Some of them end up out of the circle because others began to put themselves in. Selected, hallelujah. Selected. Estella don't move if they don't call Estella. I don't care about my archbishop what I am. Bring the 
Be careful where you preach. Yes. Be careful where you preach, believers, because guess what happened? I had a very strict teacher. He said, send a message to my boss. Let me show you God. Yes. And she said, I need to know the numbers. <laughs> Who is going to brunch tomorrow? And I, you know, I'm the leader, the head, so I said, I oh, know, no, no, St. Mary's ain't going tomorrow. Right. And the messenger. Right. Send me a medal. Don't cross the prayer. No. And the messenger yeah. come back to me and say, uh, you have a text, check it. <laughs> and when the text play, Everybody. Mandatory. 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 I got to work the truck card. <laughs> she had to remind me that she is the president. Yeah. Yeah. And God brought it back to my attention and you preach it. I know you better walk in it. Let me tell you, children, I was so obedient, I get on the phone one time to say, hey, beep, pop, 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 Every dark man be ready. Because I had to, I had to do. We can't preach to somebody and we don't want to. Come on now. But because I have believed in obedience. Yeah. Yes. Because imagine mm -hmm. you know, they're not obedient to be believed in. They know what I'm like because my eyes speak. Yes. But I have to make it my business to show them an example so that they could be able to keep going on because my leader showed me today that whatever she's teaching me in my house. It is right because she humbled herself before Queen Esther said, "Every jack man going to the broad." And believe you me, we had a hallelujah time. Yeah. I said, "Let me tell you something." When I came here, the first thing I asked was bus up, bus up chat. And they said, "No, Ruthie." I said, "No, I want bus up chat." Well, let me tell you, I delight myself. But I never, whoever the cook was, please compliment them. It was delicious. Yes, I said I enjoyed listening to me. It was so good. I said put that, put that away. Yes, for later. Back to go with yeah. some tea because I was having it with juice. That's how good it was. And so sometimes when the word of God is given to us by a messenger, oh, yeah. it may come. Pennsylvania. Yes, yes. They want 
money to build this business so that others can come and feel what Africa was to them. I want to ask them what they In coming to Trinidad, have you made note of any lesson that was given yet? Oh, yes. Good. Yes. Because you may have to go back feel something. and look at the messages and see when God delivered you from something that was given in one of the lessons that we heard. You see, when we come into convention, as I understand, convention is a celebration. And I just learned that the beginning of the year passed. I'm going by you and didn't know what it was. I said, what is it that all Jamaicans when certain month come? All the Jamaican churches at one time, everybody have a convention. I couldn't understand. Jamaica convention, New York convention. But it's all Jamaican leaders in a convention around the same time. And I'm going to these things not understanding. But a pastor got up and had a drink it and explained that convention is the celebration of the saints who have made it their business, who sacrificed to come to give God worship. Amen. I know y'all in here. Come on. Because guess what? My flight didn't leave. Woo. I was, I was on my father's business. And all when people texting me saying my flight delay, the flight delay, the flight delay. We was on the plane. Saying we are the way to the Mecca. We are the way to the Mecca. We are the way to the Mecca. Believers. The Mecca celebrates, I think somebody said that the brunch is March. When is the liberation for Baptist? What, what, what month? March 30th. March 30th. I, I, I went over the border. March 30th. And that means that every Baptist all over the world is coming to the Mecca. Oh my God. So when the Muslim going to the Mecca, every plane full you can't get flat. Because every single one of them is on their way. So now I want to tell the Baptists that when you have a liberation now, it ain't only Baptists coming, but it's Jamaican coming. It's Panamanian coming. It's Guyanese coming. Because you just made it known to us that this place is where the bird came. Hallelujah. Don't take it like me, people. I don't take things like me. Because out of this teacher, something greater is coming. Because once we come together as a people, I said to Pastor Young that we are so our mind people of God. It is so furnished to be separated from each other. That we can't come together even in some of the night. You could see the separation believers. Because why is it that I can't do that? And Baptist do them. Somebody. Come. And then I come in. 
slowly. Yes. 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 I mean, 
every seat was packed. Yes. And you, I I was truly. You know, I was trying to. Truly. And I couldn't hear any voices. That's those that were said that came and said, you know, I come to see. But she don't move. Yes. No, sir, she can't move me. Yes. Lead her and then we all in pack. And she not moving me either. I just come to see. Oh, you don't come to a convention no, no, no. to see. You come to get a revelation. You come to get a break too. You want to get deliverance. Because when the Methodists, when the American Baptist churches call convention in the USA, bossing, plane, train. Or tell and all. Yeah, get in a room. Because everybody going for their big breakthrough. Yes. I, I want to ask Montenegro, what you came for? Oh, yes. Let's say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Question. Because when we come to the mega, we climb this mountain. Push out, man. And once you climb the mountain and you come back, you're coming back the same way. Right. Like yeah. right. You're supposed to be changed by the world. I think everybody tired. 
And I want to believe that you're in a super outside. But there's going to be a collision right now. Yeah. But it ain't going to be an accidental collision. We're going to collide to make purpose of the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. What happens now is that all the churches who were invited to this convention at the Mecca, I want you to stand. Because I want you to understand what is that going to Come here, Mama. Stand up right here. Because what we're going to do is that uh, we are going to collide with one another. Yes. Because I'm going to push her up because she needs to oh, come on, people of God. Yes. 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 But the collision is not, uh, uh, it's not a good It's not that type of collision to harm or to hurt someone. It's the type of collision that is to build a teacher. Yes. So we are going to collide Amen. each group and we're going to make the mountain higher. Yes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Go ahead. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. All those who your church was invited to this convention. Move them cameras, please. Back them up over me. Because no camera should hold you. you hear me? I said no camera should hold you. Because when you are about to build up the work of God, nothing should stop you. Hello? 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 No, no, wait, hold on, I didn't give the thing yet. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, that nigga. The people couldn't come to a certain perimeter because the people had to sanctify themselves before they come to me, God. I want you to take a minute because you see this collision can't bring no kind of progress. Oh, it can't bring no look bad look. Ah. It can't bring no, I can't stand it because she put me. Yes, that's what we are doing. We are pushing. Oh, so get your mind in order. Because once we collide, Tisha, I don't know where the next one to be. I don't know what you're planning or what you're doing. Woo! But we are about to collide with you. Because we are about to push you up. Because, oh, well, you got some good men. Yes. As we come close, man, you will have to start living with each other because she's supposed to be above the collision and the wrong hole and the bottom. When there was a collision in the book of Exodus, it was because the camp was made and the people was rejoicing. They're happy because they had their idol made. We are not coming for that believers. We are coming to build this vision. We are coming to collide with purpose. Search your purpose before you come to collide with anyone. Because this movement is not a selfish movement. This movement is a movement about us. She didn't have to invite you. She could have sent me at my church. Can't do it. And so everybody, we gonna stop coming. I want to hear a rumble. If it's your foot or the uh, Baptist do that. All the revivalists. I want it in order. Because I want to, people to know that when we as Christians, children of God, come together, we know order. You not overpowering Baptists and Baptists not overpowering revival. Yes. That's it. And I can do it. Touch somebody say I can do it. 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 So we're ready. I can do it. Take my something because I don't need to explain nothing. Then we get this right. Are we ready? Amen. As they are called to the mouth. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Come on. I don't. I only want groaning because the the rumbling that goes on at the ground it goes on constantly. Yes. But nobody knows that it's happening. 
until when the mountain is formed, then you something took place. You know. So when you come, you have to become spiritually minded. That when you get close to the peak of the mountain, it is so heavy that teacher can be risen. Because it says in the Bible that when they went home for war, Moses had to stand. Yes, madam. All of you, Hello. Yes, madam. And every time he got weak, somebody had to pray. You got to come clean. Yes, yes. One half. You have to put on the full arm. Yes, man. First plate. You have to have the helmet on. Yes. 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 And then you have to have the sword. First plate on. Come on. Sword of the Because some of us have to chat. Chop off. Hello? Hey. Some of us have to have the trumpet. Woo! Everybody has something to do. Yes. So man your business yes. and stay in your lane. Yes. If you're a church mother, then be the church mother. Yes. Come on now, if you're the pastor, be the pastor. Yes. Somebody want to be in the choir, mm -hmm. in the kitchen, mm -hmm. in the house mm -hmm. of board, mm -hmm. the pianist, mm -hmm. hello, the reader. And there are others just sitting And you have all the work. No, today we're sharing. Hello. Hello. Touch somebody else and say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. ready. Come on. I'm ready. ready. Yes, ma'am. Baptist. I can't hear you. You can go. Hello. I want to hear you. Yes, I can. I can't I just want to move a point. That when we are together, but it don't have to start growing. No. And the revival don't have to start growing. Yes. Yes. We can grow together. Yes. Yes. Come on.
where we came from. And then they said that you can't have pepper in summer because it's confusion. Yes? Yes? Am I right? So that's it. But I want to give you this free quick So that the fire that is within you will continue talking, burning. So that sometimes when the pepper of man's mouth yes.
Everybody today is in their way. And the Queen from New York on the floor. And it never hung over. People step in. I should not step in until she hung over. But we are getting there, ain't it? The whole order is unity. And I want, I come to learn the spiritual baptist. And I come to work with the spiritual baptist. And so that when we, we have two nations trying together, some will have to um, make sacrifice, compromise. So that the work of the Lord can go on. Amen. Let me sing it again. G. Come
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want when you don't open for Jamaica. I want to feel comfortable. Yes. Enter in our style. Yes. And work together in unity. Yes. Bishop Esther and I word. And the word, I listened very keenly. And it's like she was just teaching me. 
and where did the pastor Jen is going to lead not just the children Hallelujah. Yes. but many different islands where spiritual people is or are now she can have to understand different manifestations different grooming amen, amen. different teaching and all that so as our pastor said the different people we are all one we all have to understand and she said it all that in the day she did not we don't know if next year she's gonna come to Jamaica we don't know if next year we're going to Panama but we are on a move yes, and then wherever she go we're not to go with her and we have to, go, we have to go understand people we have to go watch the Spanish they manifest yes. and just understand them back there and just work with it Amen. praise the Lord praise so to the spiritual Baptists don't think you tell me but we are all one traveling to different cities praise the Lord God bless you thank you so much and I love you, I love you. we bless the Lord there's a race that I have run and a victory to be won. So give me power every hour. See me through. See me through, Lord Jesus. See me through. Lord Jesus, see me through. Oh, there's a race that I have run, and a victory to be won. So give me power.
Lord with a clean hand and a pure heart. As we are bringing our convention to close, we are going to be inviting the patriarch of the North American region, the Honorable Van Reverend, Yes.
kingdom of heaven. Amen. The right that said, the all I stand at that door. And anyone hear my voice, and would open, I would come in.
for this, I say this mission.
I'm going to support you. And I keep my word. I was going to be here till the end. And I kept my word. Because I have to think about when I give my word. Because we are no value if our word means nothing. And even with all the loss that I've experienced, I kept my word. So now I'm ready to come back over. Because I have another mountain I have to climb. And not everybody can walk that mountain with me. But thanks for letting me walk this mountain with you. In our adventure on my journey with you, I've learned something about how to climb my next mountain. I give God the glory. I give God the honor. And I give God the praise. In the midst of our manifestation, a knot was tied. I made sure to keep the knot in sync. And I held the knot very close to my heart. And I protected it even when people bounced me. Even when the ones that grabbed me, I held on to the knot. But now that you are free from all entanglement and engulfment, a hand in your back, you're not. And the knot is not mine to keep. I see this here, real ticklish situation. Just as I kept your prop up so you don't fall off the mountain, each out. I'll stay here to make sure they don't fall off the mountain. Because we are looking to you now so that we could find more pinnacles to achieve. Set the example. And don't fall at time that he does fall in. And if I see you fall in, I'm going to pull your dress. And nobody going to see me pull your dress, but I'm going to pull your dress. Because teach, I need you to stand. So many people seem like they're standing. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But I need you to stand. And I pray that all the company that has been assembled will remember to keep her in prayer so that she will stand. And it is a design that they, thank you, it is a design that they put and carve into a stool. And when they are given certain chiefs or queen mothers to take office in a village, some of them receive the carving in their stool, which is the knot of wisdom. I don't have a wood carving for you, but I have something made of fabric. It's a knot of wisdom. As you install in a new position, another level, another dimension. Walk in wisdom. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. soon coming king amen i'll be brief and to the point amen the climb has been tiresome the climb sometimes it didn't even look like i would make it but by the grace and glory of almighty god by the man and woman that stood by me i want to give god glory for them amen 
Let me um, personally say thank you to Peter Rondell and St. Michael's Spiritual Baptist Church in New York and in St. Louis. Amen. We praise the Lord. Let me say thank you to Pastor Lambert and the Upper Room Ministry. Amen. We praise the Lord. Let me say thank you to Bishop Barbara by extension, the entire contingent of the Panamanian group. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. Let me say thank you to Bishop Estella Knight and St. Mary's. Amen. Hallelujah. And let me also say thank you to teacher Laura from my ministry. Praise the Lord. Allow me also to say thank you to the apostolic, uh, the apostolic metropolitan, Dr. Ray, and to the first apostle from Sacred Heart. Amen. In Jamaica headquarters. Hallelujah. We praise the name of the Lord. I want to thank each and every one of you from the depths of my heart um, that without you, I know that God would have made provision. I don't want to say I don't know what I would have done because God promised to make provision. But I'm thankful that it was you that was chosen. Amen? So as we continue to walk and we continue to walk and stay under the anointing of Almighty God, I promise you this one thing, that if he does not send me, I will not go. I promise you this one thing, if he does not tell me to speak, I will not speak. But when he does, I will go without a murmur. Amen? So God bless you. Um, Bishop Young, Bishop Buckner, God bless you. Thank each and every one that came out. Uh, all the churches in Trinidad and Tobago, Mother Ned, amen. All of those who are there during the course of the week, I thank you, I thank you. For indeed, we bid the devil a liar. Amen. Amen. Indeed, he didn't have the last laugh. Amen. When he conjured against us and said that we wasn't going to make it, we made it. Bruised and battered, but we made it. Hallelujah. And we made it and we have learned from the climb only to prepare us to climb yet another time. But with Christ in our vessel, we can truly ride upon any and all storm. Amen. Let me say thank you to the House of Esther Divine Ministries. Amen. I thank you for upholding my hand and seeing the vision true. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to keep you. I want to say a special thank you to a young lady that I call my child, Sylvia. Hallelujah. That worked tirelessly. That worked tirelessly to ensure that every vision that I have comes to pass. I want to thank also Miss Carla. I want to thank also more these people that I'm thanking, these people that they were running on the ground for me. So when they do, I have to say thank you. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me thank um, Grand Prince for coming from the baby. Let me thank the fabulous people. Amen? Allow me to thank Mother Ned. We praise the Lord. to the call. I appreciate you. If I did not call your name, please, as I say again, by my presence here in the Mecca, tells that I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I have worked tirelessly in you know, Michael to ensure that you know that I appreciate and I love you. So far as I love you, baby. I love you. God bless you guys. Upper room, I love you. St. Michael's Spiritual Baptist Church. I love you. I'm talking to the Vinci. Hallelujah. You are bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. And I'm not talking about spirit, you know, because my grandparents are from St. Vince. All right now. Hallelujah. And then you can talk about the Bajan, then he's still in my 
Blah I love you guys and I truly, truly appreciate everyone for the sacrifices that you have made. None have gone unnoticed. For real, for real, for real, for real. In all my struggles and in all my toils, it did not flip my mind for one minute that you made a sacrifice to be here. Amen. That while you were trying to be here, the devil was plotting against you. Amen. But you fought and you pushed through that you could have given up, you know. Amen. My God. My you God. could have given up because there were those who was going to come and plan to come, but they gave up along the way. But you decided that you was going to come for a blessing. Hmm? And I say it today as scriptures declare, as the prophet of all once said, such that I have, I give unto you. Mm? I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. And I bless you in the name of the Holy Spirit.